Sadly, and as you probably already know, most people don't know shit about boxing. Definitely do not know how to score a fight. So Top Rank posted this little defensive highlight from Pernell Whitaker in the Oscar De La Hoya fight. And if you read the comments, and I haven't read them all, but all of them, <laughs> in so far as I can tell, are just talking about how great Purnell was, right? What a great boxer he was, what amazing defense he had, you know what I mean? De La Hoya didn't land anything. Just just praising Purnell. Oh my God, he's so amazing. <sighs> the greatest defensive boxer of all. Why is that even a compliment? Right? Why is that even a compliment? Right? Boxing is about offense. Or at the very least, it's about both, blending the two together, right? If we are to judge boxing the way we look at guys like Pernell Whitaker or Mayweather for that matter, then I'm the greatest defensive uh, non-boxer of all time, right? I am I'm the greatest defensive defender, right, ever. I never got hit once by a professional boxer, right? Because I never took a fucking chance. And Whitaker hardly ever did. Not not in this instance. He had some good fights, right? He he threw a lot of punches in some fights, right? But once he got in the ring with someone he couldn't quite match, right? He felt like a bitch. That, that's just a fact. He stood right in front of you while at the same time running away, right? He was out of his boxing stance. He wasn't in position to throw any punches, he just stood there and took good punches and partial blows uh, at a very, very low connect percentage, right? But, and, and just got credit as if, as if he had done something amazing, right? Like, there was at least one comment on there that I responded to that stated that De La Hoya knows he didn't land any of those punches, right? Now, what does De La Hoya know? So that left hand, we can't see it, and it skims over the back of Pernell Whitaker, right? But before we see it miss, it makes a sound, right? You could go watch this if you want. And then, right, as Pernell tries to hold De La Hoya, right? De La Hoya creates space with this elbow, right? Boom! Lands a right up uppercut right on the jaw, right? Purnell doesn't even block, does nothing about it, right? When Purnell is in his boxing stance, right? Purnell could, maybe if he wasn't getting hit, he could throw the left hand, he could throw the right hand, right? He's, well, maybe he's a little bit out of his boxing stance. I don't know, I can't quite see. No, it looks like his legs aren't quite under him, right? But this is as close to a boxing stance as he was in this quote-unquote exchange, right? But he gets cracked by De La Hoya, bang on the jaw, right? Probably gets a little buzzed, a little, you know, feels it. And then just decides to run away, right? Nice shoulder roll defense, right? But no offense coming back, even though, right? A great boxer right now, a guy that's hit and don't get hit, now that he put his back foot into position once again, right? Might come back with the counter left hand right now, right? Pull back and counter. Yeah, but he's fucking buzzed probably or, or scared of getting knocked out, right? So he gets the fuck out of there. He's not fast enough, right? Oscar was too fast for him. That made sound. I wouldn't say that's a scoring blow, but you heard it, right? Just barely touched him. Misses completely, right? Misses completely. Tries to pick him up with an uppercut. Probably touched the glove or something. Missed, right? And missed. Wide-eyed Whitaker, right? Just took an uppercut. After that, the commentators say that he one of his eyes is swelling, right? And he probably lost this round. Of course he lost the round. He lost the fight. Right? How, do people not know how to score boxing, right? 
You read the comments, it's just like, oh my god, Purnell, Purnell, amazing, da 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 da. They're acting like, like he did something amazing here. Anybody can get out of, anybody that's somewhat athletic and good shape, limber, right? <laughs> Anyone who exercises and practices this sort of thing, right? Getting out of position, ducking under, under the belt, putting your head down, right? Bending the rules of boxing, trying to get out of range, right? Doing everything he can to... Well, not be able to throw punches himself, right? J essentially just running away. at the Okay, running away at the last second. right? But, but why is he running away at the last second? Because De La Hoya is too fucking fast. Right? So that's why it looks like he just barely gets, gets out of range. And he has to bend the rules. He has to cheat. That's what cheating is, right? Breaking the rules of boxing. And everyone's just sucking his dick. Like he did something amazing there. Right? Why? What did he do? He got hit, right? Okay, it was one punch out of eight or something like that. Okay, fair enough. But he got hit, right? Ah, but he barely got hit, right? Well, but Oscar hit him. This is his boxing, right? Did Oscar get hit? Did he get hit? If boxing is hit and don't get hit, right? Oscar hit and didn't get hit. Purnell didn't get hit. Did he hit? If boxing is hit and don't get hit, then who gets credit for this? Right? Well, De La Hoya, who rocked him with an uppercut and made him run. Right? Who was the ring general? The guy who had his feet all over the place? Who like, looked like he was drunk? Right? Falling all over the damn place? Just running away? Or the guy who was in boxing stance pushing him back, right? Controlling the center of the ring while throwing punches. Who was the ring general, right? Who was the general on this battle, right? Who was the effective aggressor? Now, we could talk about how effective the aggression was. We could, in, in terms of degrees, right? But, but the guy that's not aggressive at all, right? Pernell Whitaker, well, how effective was his aggression? Right? Well, he wasn't even aggressive at all, so you can't even talk about effective aggressiveness. Well, when you look at De La Hoya, right, he was aggressive, right? So he had aggression. How effective was his aggression? Well, his aggression pushed Whitaker out of his boxing stance and made him cheat, right? It turned him into a non-boxer. That's how effective his aggression was. So De La Hoya was the effective aggressor, right? He was the only one landing punches. He was the ring general. And he had better defense because he didn't get hit. But somehow Pernell Whitaker won this quote-unquote exchange, right? This moment. And he won the fight and got robbed. <laughs> yeah, okay. 